Hey, how's it going everyone? Josh, aka a lot of Josh here. It snowed last night, so I think that's a good thing for my business because it gives me a reason to stay home and sourcing is really fun, you know, being out and about the thrill of the hunt, looking for profitable items to buy. But as a full-time reseller, the majority of my time is actually spent home at my photo station, you know, photographing the items that I purchased and sitting in front of the computer, actually listing and uploading all of these items for sale on platforms like eBay and Poshmark. It's a slippery slope, like it's very tempting to go sourcing every single day, but I have to force myself to um, take days to just stay at home and photograph and list. So a day like today makes it easy for me to just stay home and focus on those things that I feel the majority of my time should be spent doing. Um, and I also have time to share you know, items that I've been selling on eBay with all of you. Um, so I'm gonna be sharing a handful of stuff that have sold for me recently on eBay. Hopefully the brands and types of items that I share with you give you a few ideas on the kind of items to look for when you are out there sourcing, but remember, if you're not taking the time to photograph and list your items, you're not gonna sell those items and you're not gonna make any money. This first item here is a pair of Ariat men's leather boots. Ariat's an awesome brand to look for when you're looking at these leather style shoes. Um, other types of clothing also sell really well. I've sold button down shirts. I've also sold Ariat jeans before in the past and they all bring a high dollar. I'm willing to pay up for this brand. I paid $15 for this pair of leather boots and they sold. I actually took a best offer of $69 with the buyer paying for shipping on top. This next item here is a pair of men's Nike Lunar Glide 6 running shoes. These caught my attention at the thrift store just because of the crazy floral pattern and all I did was just look on the inside of the shoe. You're gonna see a series of numbers for these Nike shoes. Um, you just type that into the eBay search bar and the same exact model should pop up. And I saw that these are selling for a pretty good amount. I paid about eight to $9 for these at the thrift store and they sold, I took a best offer of $37.50 plus shipping. This next brand is Spanx by Sarah Blakely. I've sold Spanx a few times in the past and it sells fairly quickly. It seems to have a pretty strong following. This one was a pair of leggings. I had this like shiny glossy look to it. Um, but this I picked up at a thrift store for about five to six dollars and it sold for thirty three dollars and twenty four cents plus shipping. This next item is a men's Jose Bank sports coat or blazer. I typically pass up Jose Bank when I'm going through the suit section or the sports coat section. But what caught my attention was the material of this jacket. Um, so this jacket was 100% cashmere. So when you're coming across cashmere pieces at the thrift store, try to remember what the material and fabric feels like. So when you're going through clothing racks in the future, if you feel cashmere, you pick that piece, look up the brand, you know, look it up, see what it's worth. But I've done pretty well with cashmere pieces. You have to be careful though, because a lot of cashmere pieces that I come across at the thrift store have some kind of defects, whether it's like a hole or like loose threading. Um, so just make sure when you do come across pieces like this, you're looking for those flaws and defects. Um, but I paid about $7 for this at a thrift store and it sold full price for $59.99. This next item is a brand that I'm constantly picking up and it's a very good seller for me. The brand is called Viella. I picked it up at a thrift store for about $6 and is sold for full asking price of $27.99 plus shipping. You're not gonna get like crazy amount of money for Viella pieces, but they sell really quickly for me and items like this, the, the bread and butter pieces, is really the foundation of my full-time reselling business. And at the end of the day, um, selling stuff like this at volume is what pays the bills. This next item is a pair of women's Rock Revival jeans rock revival is a very good brand that you should be picking up if you see it at the thrift store the rock revival jeans will stick out because they'll have that crazy pattern on the pockets um so if you come across this definitely pick it up i paid about six to seven dollars for this pair of women's jeans and they sold i took a best offer of fifty dollars plus shipping this next item is a men's patagonia corduroy button front shirt Patagonia, just a very popular brand in high demand. So if I can find it for a good price at the thrift store, I'll definitely pick it up. I paid about seven to eight dollars for this piece here. I listed it at around $40 and ended up taking a best offer of $31 plus shipping. 
This next item is a brand that I've been trying to play around with and learn more about. This is a pair of women's silver jeans. They have a lot of different model names, a lot of different cuts and styles. I'm finding that the Suki line for the silver jeans are doing decently for me. I'll typically pick these up for about six, seven dollars at the thrift store and sell them. I sold this one for $25.79 plus shipping. This next brand is Hoka One One. These running shoes always fly off the shelf for me whenever I list them. Picked this pair up for about $10 at the thrift store and is sold for full asking price of $49.99. I could probably squeeze a little bit more out of these Hoka running shoes, but I just priced them at around the $50 mark, the price point that I'm comfortable flipping these at. And at that price point, they just sell super quickly for me. This next item is a pair of Nike Air Force Ones. These were actually in the kids section and the crazy colorway, it was like a shiny green, blue, purplish color. Um, but the colorway definitely caught my attention. I looked up this model and saw that they were selling for a very good amount, even in the kids section. Um, all the ones that were like youth size, they also had a woman's size next to it. So in the title, I put, you know, four and a half youth and six women's for the size. Um, I think that's what helped sell this pair. This was a really good flip here, sold for $79.99. This next item you've probably seen me sell in the past if you've been watching my videos this is a Peter Millar summer comfort long sleeve button-down shirt when it comes to the brand Peter Millar I'll only pick up their summer comfort line that one seems to be the most popular and in demand line when it comes to Peter Millar but for this long sleeve button-down shirt I paid about six dollars for this at the thrift store and it sold for twenty seven dollars and ninety nine cents this next item not a crazy brand the brand is Duluth trading company but I'll pick this up because it just sells really well for me not crazy profits but it flips quickly um, the loose trading company this is a pair of jeans men's jeans size 38 by 36 I took a best offer of $23 plus shipping and paid about six to seven dollars for these jeans at a thrift store this next item is a psycho bunny men's quarter zip sweater psycho bunny is a very high quality brand a brand that I just love finding at the thrift store um, this one here was a size small so I ended up taking a best offer of $25 plus shipping. If this was a bigger size, I probably could have gotten like $35, $40. Um, but the smaller sizes have a smaller audience. Um, so less demand for these smaller sizes. Um, so I just took the offer of $25 just to you know, make that quick flip and get this piece moving. This next item I thought was a very cool piece. This is a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren men's shorts. Um, so Polo Ralph Lauren, a very big brand. Um, there's a lot of good items and a lot of bad items when it comes to this brand. This one, I just thought it was a very cool piece. So I just typed in Polo 1992 men's shorts into eBay and saw that this particular style with this you know, Polo 1992 um, print on it was doing extremely well on eBay. So decided to pick it up. I only paid about four to $5 for this at a thrift store and it sold for $28.49 plus shipping. This next brand is L.L. Bean. These heavier winter pieces for L.L. Bean has actually been doing pretty well for me these days. This is a pair of men's L.L. Bean fleece-like sweatpants. Um, I picked it up for about five to $6 at a thrift store and it sold for $29.99. 99 cents plus shipping if you remember that first item that i showed you the pair of men's aria boots i mentioned that aria does a few other pieces like jeans um so we have a pair of aria men's boot cut jeans here that i picked up at the thrift store for about seven to eight dollars um and this pair here sold really quickly i think within the week for $39.90 plus shipping. We have another LL Bean winter piece. This here is a full zip jacket, just a basic blue. Um, picked this up for about $8 at the thrift store and is sold. I listed it for, I think like $45 and ended up taking a best offer of $35. So I've been doing a lot of clothing these days, but I do sell items in other categories as well. It's definitely a smaller piece of my business, but I'm very open to flipping other things. Okay. Occasionally. But this first item here is Microsoft Office 2011, the Home and Student Family Pack Edition. Um, picked this up for about three to four dollars and is sold. I took a best offer of thirty dollars plus shipping. But computer software like this, especially if you have the product key that you know is working and will let the buyer install the software onto their computer, 
um, definitely worth looking into and looking up on eBay to see how much it's going for. But don't just blindly buy computer software. Um, this piece here was part of a bulk purchase. So my cost of goods was low, um, only like a dollar into this. But if I were to come across this as an individual item, I probably wouldn't pick this up. Um, this is an instant CD DVD computer software. This took like two years to sell um, and it sold for $24.99. This next item is a Sony remote control. If you come across a very recognizable brand like Sony or Panasonic, um, look up the model number. Somewhere on the remote, there's gonna be a model number. Um, so just put in the brand and model number and see how many active listings there are versus how many have been selling. Um, if it's close to even, or if there's more sold listings than active, then that's a very good remote control to look for. But I like looking up these recognizable brands like Sony um, just because remotes are super easy to photograph, list, and ship. So if I can pick up a remote for you know less than $5 and sell it for 20 plus, then I'll do that just because of the simplicity of listing and selling and shipping a remote control. This next item is a SpongeBob alarm clock that I came across at the thrift store. I paid about $5 for this. Um, there was a model number on the bottom of the clock so I looked that up on eBay and saw that these Spongebob alarm clocks were doing fairly decently um, saw them selling for about 35 to 40 dollars so for five dollars definitely decided to pick it up mine sold for 39 dollars and 99 cents plus shipping this next item is a lot of three LSAT prep books the company that made these books was called Manhattan prep um, these LSAT books were actually my sister's when she was studying for the LSAT obviously done using them and just gave them to me to resell on eBay and got a very good price for them. I got $64.99. Definitely a good profit if I come across these types of study books at a garage sale. I'll definitely be looking them up now. Um, and with this sale, you know, I'll, I'll treat my sister to dinner or something and then put the rest of the money back into my business. This next item is an Apple wireless keyboard. This is part of a bulk purchase when I bought off someone else's eBay store. So I only have about a dollar into this um, and it sold for $29.99. But Apple, when I was doing comps on this keyboard, Apple in general as a company, um, very quick selling products. Um, this keyboard had close to 100% sell through rate on eBay. So if you come across Apple products, definitely worth looking up. There's typically some kind of model number written on the product. Um, so definitely worth looking up on eBay and see how that product is selling. This next item is a Flareon Pokemon card. This is actually part of a bigger purchase I made. So I picked up a huge binder of like 200 plus cards a few years back for $50 on Facebook Marketplace. And that binder was just collecting dust, sitting in my death pile for a few years. Um, and a few months ago, when I went full time back in July, August, I decided to pull this binder out. I cherry picked all of the cards that were worth $10 or more and just have been selling them um, little by little over the past few months. Um, this is one of the better ones that sold at $35 plus shipping. Um, and then the leftover cards I sold on Facebook Marketplace for $50. So that initial investment I got right back after a few years, obviously. Um, and that was after I cherry picked all of the cards that I felt were uh, worth listing individually. Um, so definitely a good investment. It wasn't intentional that I just let it sit there in my closet to appreciate in value. Um, but luckily over COVID, um, a lot of trading cards, Pokemon cards included, um, the value just, for whatever reason, that doesn't make sense to me, shot up. Um, so when I went full time, the value of Pokemon cards was extremely high. So very fortunate. Um, like I said, not intentional, but um, very thankful that the price of these Pokemon cards were higher than when I initially bought them a few years back. But hopefully me sharing these brands and types of items that I'm selling is going to help you out when you're out there sourcing for items to resell for yourself and make a little bit of money, whether it's part-time or whether it's something that you wanna pursue full-time. Hopefully you enjoyed the items that I shared with you here today. But other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.